Hello, if you are having trouble logging in to access your Girl Scout membership information, you do so through the eMembership registration site. You do not log in to our local council website. That is not connected. Instead, click one of our links to join now. From there, you may either click the link to join today where it says girls or volunteer today where it says adults. Either one will take you to the same place whether you're a girl or an adult and it will tell you yes you're leaving the gsneo.org site going to e-membership. Click OK to continue and this is the e-membership registration site. If this site does not pop up, instead you will want to disable your pop-up blockers because likely that's what's happening. Or if that does not work, you can right-click the link and open the link in a new tab. From there, just go to the tab. And if you know your username and password, put it in and log in. However, if the last time you logged in was before August 10th, 2013, we still have your membership information on file. We still have a record of you on our membership database, but we do not have you with a username and password. So you will need to click New Online Account. If this is also your first time logging in and you don't, don't have a username and password, you'll also need to click New Online Account. If you've forgotten whether or not you've created a username and password late in August or the beginning of August, doesn't matter if you click New Online Account, it will find you if you do have a username and password and it will let you know. So, you want to put in your information. You do not want to put in your daughter's information. If you put in your daughter's information, it will not find her as an adult. If you create a new record for her, it will think of her as an adult and register her as an adult if you register her, which is probably not what you want. So instead, again, put in your information. You can actually access your daughter's information through your own record. Now I'm making this person up. So I'm saying they are born on March 12, 1912. And this is the information that matches up. Name, first name and last, address, and birthday. It has not found me in the system under the name Mikey Carlstrom at 6111 South Broadway. Maybe this is because my name is different in the database. Maybe I go by a hyphenated name or a nickname or a full name. Or in this case, maybe I have a different address. Maybe I'm using a new address and I just recently moved. So let's try again with the correct address. Now it has found me in the system. It says, please go to your email and follow the instructions to activate your online account. If I check my email, this is what it looks like. I can actually see that it's from admin at noreply at uapps.net. Here's the link in my email. I can either click it directly or I can copy and paste it into my address bar. and it pulls up a Create Your Online User Account page. From here, I can choose any username I'd like, as long as nobody else is using it. A password. And a security question. I recommend using usernames and passwords that you will remember. And before it will let me finish logging in, it requires that I put in a birthday. Note it asked me for my birthday before, but that was to match me up. This is saying this is mi missing information in our database that is required. And if I continue, I am now logging into the account. If I wish to log in, as somebody else that is new to the account, that is new to the Girl Scouts of Northeast Ohio, 
Let's try putting in information for her. Again, I'm using March 12, 1912 as the birthday because I'm just creating these people. And as, as not real people, and I'm continuing. And again, like I said, it did not find her in the system, but it's not supposed to because we know that there is, she does not exist. If she were a troop leader, this is not what you do. You do not continue because otherwise we'll create a new record of you that is not linked to your troop, but this is a new person, so we continue. And again, it asks for login info. It has to be unique. Nobody else in the country can be using it, or at least the username. And at the bottom, it asks for an email address, which it did not ask for, for before because we had an email address in the system. But this is a new person. And it asks for required information. Note it says at least one is required. It does not need both a home number and a mobile number. It just, it just needs one. And now I'm logged in. And if I have children, I can add them. Which I can also do from the button that says my account. Now that's what happens if everything is easy. Let's find out if you do run into issues. Here's a very common problem. You fill out all your information and it says, Dear current or past Girl Scout member, we have found you in the system, but in order to continue, please contact us. Usually what this means is we're missing an email address for you. It can't send you an email to the email on file if we don't have an email on file. The other possibility is that our birthday that we have on file for you is different than the birthday you are putting in. If we have that you were born in 1972 and you're putting in that you were born in 1942, perhaps you have a daughter-in-law that lives at the same address or something like that and the system wants to verify who you are and that both people at your address are actually individual people before it will let you continue. Otherwise, um, it just may be that we have the wrong at, uh, birthday and that needs to be fixed as well. Another issue, let's say we put in Mikey's information now that we know he has a username. Scroll down and continue. Here it says it's found that I have a username and password already. And I have the option to find my username and password by first name, last name, and email for the username, or my username and email for resetting the password. It will ask my security question, fill it in, retrieve the username, and it sends it to my email, and I can check my email, go back to the home page to log in, and fill it in.